So without further ado, I think we should get this party started. Let's do it. All right. So our first speaker today is one of your fellow Aspires. I had the opportunity to meet him actually back when he was an intern. He came to me and pitched this really good idea. This idea was so good that I just couldn't think of any reason to say no. Huh? Ask me later what the idea was. But since he started at Microsoft a couple of months ago, I have had the best time watching him join Microsoft as an FTE. And I was so excited for him to all come meet you today and share his passion. You will feel it. So without further ado, please help us welcome to the stage Aspire and sourcing engineer, Patrick Lyon. <laughs> When I was a junior in college, kind of on a whim, I decided to apply for American Ninja Warrior. As a kid, it was something I always thought would be really cool, and then as my passion for fitness grew, I thought, you know, this is something I could actually do. So I put together an audition video, submitted it, and three weeks later, I got a call from the executive casting producer on the show. And I wish this was the part where I could tell you I made it, but I didn't. He told me instead that I got to be an alternate or a, a course tester, which meant that I got to test the real obstacles the day before they filmed the real course, which was still like the coolest thing in the world. I was on these larger than life adult jungle gym obstacles flying through the air, and from that moment forward, I was determined I was going to be on that show. So I spent the next year of my life getting in the best shape of my life, putting out a new YouTube video every single week so I could practice my video storytelling skills through YouTube. Then, by the end of the year, I landed an internship at Microsoft, which was like the other coolest thing in the world. And I decided that that was the final piece of my story. I was going to be like the nerdy kid who worked at Microsoft, who also did American Ninja Warrior. And sure enough, the casting producers loved it. And I made it on season 10 of American Ninja Warrior in Dallas. Thank you. Claps aside, unfortunately, I didn't do too well on the show. <laughs> uh, I went down on the second obstacle, and just to give you an idea of what it looked like, I was hanging from this bar, and I, I walk my hands along, and I'm supposed to swing and grab another bar, but instead I get stuck here. Because the other bar, it felt like a mile away from me in that moment. But when I went back and I looked at the footage of that moment, it was only about two and a half feet away from me. I could have literally reached out and touched it. But in that moment, I experienced resistance. And what I mean by that is that when you have a goal for yourself, the bigger that goal is, the more resistance you face. The more you tell yourself you can't do it, you shouldn't do it, you're not good enough, or it's not your time. In that moment, the only thing that stopped me from touching that bar was my mindset. And what I wish that I would have remembered is that there was a casting producer who believed in me enough that I deserved to be in that moment. Just like every single one of you had an interviewer in that room on the other side of the table who believed in you enough that you are sitting here today, that you do deserve it, you did earn it, and you're going to thrive. And all of us are so new in our journeys here at Microsoft. We're going to have so many incredible opportunities that feel larger than life. But that is just imposter syndrome, and imposter syndrome is just resistance, and all it takes to get through resistance is starting. Because as soon as you start, the resistance is already gone. All you have to do is keep going, push on, and then scale your impact. I could have let that initial moment of falling on the course end my Ninja Warrior journey. But instead, I looked back on the previous year of my life about how I got in the best shape of my life for Ninja Warrior, turned that into a program called the Lion Shred, named after myself, and it has now reached over 500 people across 14 countries. And it all started with starting and pushing through resistance. And the same is true for all of you. Whether you have dreamed of the role you're in your entire life, or you didn't even know it existed until a couple months before, like myself, what you do every single day matters. And not only does it matter, what you do each and every day compounds into the impact you have on this company. Yeah, sometimes you'll fail, but fail fast. Push through. Push through the resistance. And then change the world. And when you're doing that, sometimes the going will get rough. But just remember, sometimes all it takes is reaching out and touching that bar.
right. Thank you guys for listening to my story. Um, we are going to move on to the next speaker. And the next speaker is someone I'm very, very excited for you guys to hear from. Um, coincidentally, he was a professor at the same university I went to. Don't know how that happened, but that's a thing. Um, and similar to me, how I was you know, rejected from Ninja Warrior initially and kind of failed, he's experienced a lot of failure. And I don't just mean like a couple times, like a lot. He actually uh, he gave a TED Talk in 2017 that was one of the most viewed TED Talks in all of 2017. And I don't really want to spoil anything else, so help me in welcoming Jia Zhang. <laughs> <laughs> 